Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. Please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now, Let's get into the news. Authorities this weekend announced they have stopped three potential mass shootings after arresting three men in different states who express interest in or threaten to carry them out. All three cases were brought to authorities' attention thanks to tips from the public. This is what we know about them. In Connecticut, 22-year-old Brandon Wagshaw was arrested after authorities said he had expressed interest in committing a mass shooting on Facebook. According to a statement from the FBI and the Newark Police Department, he faces four charges of illegal possession of large-capacity magazines and is being held on a $250,000 bond. He is scheduled to appear in court September 6. According to the statement, authorities received a tip that Wagshaw was trying to buy large capacity rifle magazines from out of state. As the FBI and the Newark Police Department were investigating the tip, they discovered Wagshaw was trying to build his own rifle and had allegedly posted on Facebook about his interest in committing a mass shooting, the statement said. Authorities did not provide details on what the post said. Authorities executed a search warrant at his home and found multiple weapons, including a handgun, a rifle, a rifle scope with a laser, numerous rounds of ammunition, body armor, a ballistic helmet, and other tactical gear, police said. Some of the weapons were registered to Wagshaw's father, but he had access to them, authorities said. Second person, Tristan Scott Wicks of Daytona Beach, Florida, was arrested in a Winn-Dixie parking lot on Friday, just Friday, the other day, today, Monday, just Friday, after he sent his ex-girlfriend a series of disturbing texts in which he allegedly threatened to commit a mass shooting, the ex-girlfriend alerted authorities. In the messages, the 25-year-old said he wanted to open fire on a large crowd of people. A good 100 kills would be nice, one message allegedly said. Wicks also said he already had a location in mind. A school is a weak target. I'd be more likely to open fire on a large crowd of people over three miles away. I'd want to break a world record for longest confirmed kill ever, another message read, according to the sheriff's office. Wicks wrote that he wanted to die and have fun doing it. Authorities had recovered a 22 caliber hunting rifle and 400 rounds of ammo in Wicks's apartment. Wicks had initially told investigators he did not own any firearms, but that he was fascinated with mass shootings. Wicks was being held without bond at the Vosia, if I'm saying that correctly, County Branch Jail. CNN did not immediately determine Sunday whether Wicks had an attorney. And in Ohio, 20-year-old James Patrick Reardon was arrested for allegedly threatening to carry out a shooting at a Youngstown Jewish community center. An Instagram account belonging to Reardon shared a video that showed a man firing a gun. The post, which was shown to an officer out on an unrelated call, tagged the Jewish Community Center of Youngstown. It's unclear whether the man shooting the gun was Reardon or someone else. Andy Lipkin, the executive vice president of the Youngstown Area Jewish Federation, said the post was accompanied by a caption that read, Police identified the Youngstown Jewish family community shooter as local white nationalist Seamus O. Reardon, Seamus being a Galaic version of Reardon's name. The rest of the Instagram account contained anti-Semitic comments, white nationalist comments, content and images of Reardon or someone else shooting guns. A search warrant was executed and authorities found an array of weapons and ammunition. Reardon was arrested without incident and booked into the 
Manhoning County Jail on Saturday on one count of telecommunications harassment and one count of aggravated menacing. According to online jail records, he's set to be arraigned Monday morning, the police chief said. It was unclear whether Reardon was represented by an attorney. Now, what do you think about that? With all the mass shootings and everyone being killed, these guys were still willing, didn't have not a bit of a care, sitting there smiling, said that they don't even want to target a grammar school because that's too easy. They just want to go and shoot up a whole crowd, just do a mass shooting, and one of them want to be the first one to shoot at a distance. And, hmm, you know what? I remember one day I was watching NBC, and it wasn't that long ago, and they were talking about the mass shootings. Now, it's been so many of them, I don't know what happened at this one or who shot and killed and how many people was killed because there's just so many but they were going over the mass shootings and they had brought up the one in vegas i did not know that it was a concert going on and the shooter decided to go on the top of a building or go somewhere high and take his gun and just shoot the rounds in the crowd while they at a concert see that's the type of stuff that i'm talking about you never know when these people are about to pop off and totally lose their minds. You never know when it's coming. So about, I guess, all we can do, because I can get into this whole spill about racism and who doing the shooting and who not doing the shooting, but there's people getting killed, whether it's a mass shooting, a drive-by shooting, you just you getting stabbed, walking down the street, getting on the bus, off the bus, in a taxi cab, going to the store. It really doesn't matter. All we can do is pray, pray for the best for us and our family, that's about it because we don't know what we're dealing with. You can be at a concert. You can be in Walmart grocery shopping. Have no idea that this person is upset because Walmart fired them. Walmart didn't give them the discount that they felt like they were supposed to get. They wasn't deserving of some. It, it doesn't even matter. And then come up in there and start shooting rounds for absolutely no reason. It can literally happen anywhere. So what do we do? There's nothing that you can do besides pray and hope that it's not your time, your friend's time, or your family time. That's about it. But anyway, people, tell me how you feel about this situation. And while you are letting me know, could you please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. You all have a fabulous day and I will talk to you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.